So Dan Mullen has always been a uh, a screen guy, but obviously because of how their his drop back game kicked ass this year, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to um, take those snaps away in lieu of extensions of his struggling run game. But you know, all in all, you still want to get the ball to playmakers in space. And here is a um, dual headed screen design that pairs a running back swing screen with our convoy. So. Um, thank you, technical director, for starting the, the snap this way. So, But you can see our, our flare motion head rightward and how it entices our linebacker to flow that way. So once we flip around, we'll see it even better. There's our flare motion sending outward. Our linebacker is coming on down. So our swing screen's already outnumbered. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to target it, um, even though we are two on two. On two. With our blockers, he has the angle on us, and it does not make um, any sense whatsoever. So we're getting two pass sets to invite the rush, and we're getting three kind of um, feigns and then uh, releasing. So with that, you can kind of see as it's developing, our screen should work just fine. So Tony's running our screen. We have our outlet block. Um, assuming we get uh, our rusher to release, we're going to have our center, our guard, and our tackle basically have a free convoy uh, outnumbering our defenders. But it's a very good job by Missouri's best defender sniffing out the screen. And that makes our tackle have to peel back and just you know and give himself up on the play, um, and because of that, there's other confusion on who our remaining uh, leakers then pick up. A little slow getting out. His head's looking up at the safety. So with that, that basically leaves Tony one on one, and uh, that is not exactly what you want on the play design. Even though we do get uh, alignment up on a safety, um, it's still just a yucky yucky rep, and we have to use this guy's. That, unbelievable playmaking skills in space to make sure that this play works which again even though it creates a lot of cool highlights it's not what you want to aim for um when making decisions down to down so very great rep from tony no doubt about it but florida actually strangely enough was one of the better screen teams because of mullen's ability to teach this stuff and his belief in it because of uh, obviously playmakers like tony